published 1351 EDT, 27 September 2017 Updated 1532 EDT, 27 September 2017 It wasn't pretty, and the scoreline certainly wasn't as wide as Eusebio Di Francesco would have hoped for. It was a mixture of a beloper performance from the Italian side and a Karabag team who completely raised their levels that saw this game turn into a real scrap towards the end. The game certainly didn't have that feel when the away side took an early lead through Costas Manolas. The Greece international showed good composure to control the ball from a corner and powered home for his first goal of the season. Roma defender Costas Manolas peels away in celebration. After powering home from a corner Manolas showed a striker's composure to control a corner and slot in from inside the area the Roma players embrace each other after Manolas opening strike gave them the let Eden Zico looks delighted to have got on the score sheet after his clinical orange finish Pedro Enrique celebrates with the home support after clawing a goal back for the hosts Karabag 42-31 Sahik, Medvedev Gusainov, Sadagov, Agali, Almeida, Karayev, Enrique Elianusi 76, Michelle Quintana 88, Matatov Guerriera 81, and Lovu subs not used Knibolotsky, Amurkilev, Rezeznicek, Dinayev goal Enrique 28 booked Karayev 39, Enrique 41 manager Gerben Gerbenov Roma 433 Becker, Perez, Manolas, Jesus, Kolarov, Pellegrini Strutman 82, Ganalons de Rossi 67, Nangolin, Defro Florenzi 58, El Sharai, Zico subs. Not used under, Fazio, Skrupski, Gerson goals Manila 7, Zico 15 booked Ganalons 43 manager Eusebio Di Francesco referee Arder Diaz attendance 67,200, and it wasn't long before Roma doubled their advantage. Stefan El Sharawi picked up a loose ball 20 yards out and fed Eden Zico, who was unmarked inside the box, to chest down and rifle in off the bar. It looked as if the floodgates were going to open just as they did earlier this month against Chelsea, but to Carabag's credit they responded well and halved the deficit after Pedro Enrique broke through and struck a drive beyond the hapless Alisson in goal. The visitors then drew a ribbist of their own. A spell of pressure culminated in Bruno Perez finding El Sharawi with a cross, but Ibrahim Seha came charging out off his line and smothered his effort. Karabag, buoyed by Henrique's goal, made a determined start after the interval and swung a dangerous cross in the box which required Alexander Kolarov to bravely throw himself in front of a swinging boot to deal with it. The Azerbaijan side were not going to give up easy. Spurred on by their increasingly boisterous home support they pushed forward and replaced goalscorer Enrique with Tarek Elianusi in search of an equaliser. Rajan Yangolin slides in to win a 50-50 challenge with Karabag midfielder Richard Almeida Maxim Medvedev does well to prevent El Sharawi from restoring Roma's 12-goal advantage but there was a sense Roma were just going to hold firm and though they came close at the death through a denoned Lovu header, it wasn't enough. The final whistle confirmed it, their spirited performance had not returned any points but only slightly dislodged their tag as the group whipping boys. For Roma it was a vital victory, their first three points of the Champions League campaign, but with fixtures to come against Chelsea and a return tie against Atletico Madrid, the Italian side will need to improve on this performance. Gregor Deferol goes down injured and is forced off after clashing with Badabi Gusainov Lorenzo Pellegrini shields the ball and fends off Maher Matatov to retain possession for Roma.